uh, I'm going to talk about uh, of Galois extension. I will uh, present the, the, this structure. I will um, also talk about the minimal structure of Galois structure on separable uh, field extension. Then I will uh, introduce um, normal basis for this uh, field extension and then also uh, application in uh, finite field arithmetic. So uh, we start with um, of uh, of extension. Uh, some background concerning uh, uh, of algebra, co-commutative of algebra. Uh, the important fact is that here uh, I have uh, two structure: a structure of algebra and a structure of uh, co-algebra. So here I have the the multiplication, and here the here the multiplication, here I have the unit, and on the other side I have the co-multiplication and the co-unit. I have also um, an antipode here, and I will, see that, I will say that the, the up algebra is uh, the, the H here is a up algebra if this diagram is commutative, which means that uh, which is expressed here. And I also want the alpha algebra uh, to be co-commutative, co which means that uh, the, the, the application of the switch map with the co-multiplication is invariant. We have a simple example. We have the example of group algebra. Here it is an algebra, as we know. We just want to describe the co-algebra structure. Uh, we have the commutification here. Since it is uh, this algebra here is generated by the element in G, so we just uh, say what is the behavior for G. G is sent to G times G, and the co-unit is uh, send uh, every element in G to one, and it is uh, uh, the the antipode uh, send an element to its inverse. So it is uh, easy to see that we have the the diagram which commutes, and uh, since we have this definition for the co-multiplication, it is easy to see that we have this invariant. The co-multiplication is invariant by uh, the switch map. Sorry. And we have uh, an interesting, which is also basic example of uh, op algebra. We have the, the cube roots of two, and we consider the, the field obtained over, over Q. We have this uh, this linear map and the morphism of this field the, defined here, and we this is an information which which will be easy uh, clear later. In fact, we, it is as um, a sort of uh, way to say that Q is uh, the field or invariant of this thing, but we know that this is not Galois over Q, and uh, it is a uh, of Co-commutative of Galois. Why? Because it is um, uh, we have sorry we have um, from this uh, endomorphism C and S we construct uh, a H which is a, a co-commutative of algebra because it is a, a quotient ring since it is an algebra and the co-multiplication uh, we just want to define it on the generator. Uh, on C, it is C times uh, tensor C minus 3 times S tensor S, and on S it is uh, like this. The, the co-unit sends C to 1 and S to 0, the antipode uh, stabilized at C, and uh, send S to, its, um, to minus S. So uh, here the, the commutativity of the diagram is given by this relation here. In fact, we, we make the quotient because we want uh, it to, to satisfy the, 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 the commutativity of the diagram, the diagram, sorry. And here we have uh, the, this invariant of the co-multiplication because uh, remember that we define C in this and if we switch in C it's okay because we have C and C, here it's okay, but here we have uh, C, we will, uh, we will get zero here, but remember that uh, the co-unit send S to zero, so it's really well. Now, uh, we can talk about of uh, Galois extension. So, if I have um, 
finite field extension, L over K, and a, a, a group of cardomorphism L, we have a linear representation here. And we, this linear can be this linear representation can be extended to um, a morphism of uh, algebra, which is a morphism of vector space. And we know that the dimension of uh, of this group algebra is uh, the, the order of G. And we have this uh, equivalence. The, the extension is Galois if and only if this is an isomorphism. Uh, clearly, this uh, we can identify, identify the element in L as uh, the multiplication by by them. So it is including this. This also included. We have this inclusion, but the dimension is the same. So it is an isomorphism. And from this, we generalize by saying that we will have a structure of up Galois here in this field extension if we have a co-commutative of algebra H such that the dimension as a k vector space is the same as the dimension of, of the degree of this field and we have an op action like this such that we have an isomorphism here and uh, it is also important that to see that this in fact h act since h will act on uh, with h act on on l we have uh, we have the fact that l is a h module it will be interesting later so this is uh, what we call a, a um, off guard extension. Sorry for uh, when you took G in the beginning, it was not like the whole Galois group, right? No. Some group of the Galois group. This one. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. You are talking about uh, this G? Yeah. No, it is a, a group. Uh, maybe a subgroup if you want, but it's just a group of automorphism. This is to to the the. The, the, the setting, I, I just want an extension and a group of chaotomorphism. And the, what is important is here, uh, here is here, because this extension is Galois if and only if I have this. But in the beginning, it is not the, the Galois. So uh, you imagine that I, I introduce the, the group algebra and this and the structure and this because it is, uh, this gives us an example. Uh, here we want uh, an off-gala structure on this extension. This can be defined by this group algebra uh, because uh, everything is okay, as we said. This is a very easy example. Everything is uh, is okay. And here we have also that H two is uh, a we saw that it is a off uh, off algebra. And uh, we know we know the dimension. It, it is generated by C one C and S dimension three. Uh, so here we have uh, this, uh, which which is a vector square dimension three, and all of this in uh, go in here. We have uh, the isomorphism, and it is uh, co-commutative. Uh, everything is okay. But we can see that in fact, of Galois extension generalized. Uh, now, on separable, this is what we want to, the, the, the topic which interests us. So, what do we do? We have a separable feed, a finite separable feed extension. So, we can take the normal closure, and we know G, the Galois group of the top field, the normal closure on the base field, and we have G prime, which is the top, the, the normal closure to the, the intermediate L. And so it, it, it is easy to see that uh, G operates uh, faithfully on uh, this, uh, the set of coset, coset mod G prime uh, for this, uh, this map. And the, the kernel, in fact, the kernel is included in G, G prime. And since we know that, uh, we know the the fundamental theorem, the funda fundamental theorem of Galois theory, which gives us the, the subgroup from the subgroup we have a subfield, from the subfield we have a subgroup. This cannot be uh, non-trivial. It is uh, force, it is necessarily trivial. So uh, the action is full. And uh, what is important for the following is the the, no, the, the regular subgroup of the permutation group here this permutation group here, the regular subgroup of this permutation group. 
And uh, I recall the definition. We say that a subgroup H is a regular subgroup if the stabilizer of any element is trivial and the cardinality here is H. It is not N, it is H. The cardinality of H is the, the, indis, the index of G prime. So uh, we can see that any normal complement N of G prime in G is a regular subgroup because the stabilizer is in this intersection, but since it is a normal complement, this is trivial, which means that this is trivial, and we saw that uh, here, and uh, as uh, the, the order of n is the, the index of g. This is an example. Uh, now, so, um, in fact, of galois extension uh, theory uh, come, uh, um, start with uh, Swidler and uh, another guy, I forgot the name. But for the case of the parallel field extension, uh, the, the, the work start by Kreitzer and Paregis. <sighs> what do they do? They, uh, in fact, since when we have a separable extension, we can take the normal closure. So they prove that the off galois structure on this extension can be uh, studied only from the off galois in the uh, uh, constructed from the, the normal closure. This is what we, we see here. Because the, uh, the, the, the result says that uh, we have um, an a up galois structure if and only if we have a normal subgroup N of the permutation group, which is normal, normalized by G. And the up galois structure is given by this up galois co-commutative of Galois algebra. Of, uh, of algebra, sorry. And you see, in fact, they use uh, descent theory. We want, uh, we want of algebra over, over, over uh, for L, uh, over K, but defining structure on L, what we do, we, we go to the normal closure, we take the subgroup, uh, which is the, the group, the group algebra, and we, 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 we look for the the fix the fix uh, the fix uh, of algebra. This is the structure. And uh, okay. now it is important when uh, in of galois theory they, they need to count the number of sub of algebra of a given of algebra. It is important for them. And here we have a, a result for that. Here I give you the, the way they are counting. In fact, when you have um, when we have a Galois extension, we have only one Galois group, which is normal. But when we have a field extension, we, you can have on this field extension many of Galois structure. You can have many of Galois structure. And here it is a way to count what we do since things are coded are encoded uh, with the 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 subgroup, the isomorphism class of subgroup in the way I just described, we are going to just first uh, do um, a classification of the isomorphism class, and then we are going to count for each isomorphism class the structure coming from them, and then we have all the numbers, the, the whole number of, of Galois structure. This is this result. Here, what we want to do, we have a field, we have a group, the sub of algebra of this uh, of algebra are the one coming from the subgroup of the group result by Crespo, Rio and Vela and there is a bijection between the subgroup of this N and the sub of algebra of the fix uh, of, of uh, algebra and this is the way this is yes in the previous slide, what is, what is the uh, of algebra of type n? Of type n means that this uh, gener uh, of type n means that in fact the of um, the of Galois structure is generated by this of algebra. This uh, because the the, the 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 group algebra is generated by n. That when a uh, uh, of a of Galois, a of Galois structure is generated by this this of algebra, we say that it is of type N. And uh, so 
we know that we have a Galois correspondence when we have um, a Galois extension between the subgroup and the subfield, and it is a bijection. But here it is not a bijection. We have just an uh, injection, not a bijection. So when we have um, a field extension, and uh, which is up Galois, H of Galois, which means we have a, H, uh, a up action, we say we, from this uh, uh, up algebra, we have uh, uh, this, uh, this, this field, this is the field, field of uh, fixed by H prime, and we have a correspondence between the sub of algebra to the sub the sub field, and this correspondence is uh, has the same properties, but it is not bijective. And now, uh, what we, we 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 did with Greiter is to, uh, to 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 be to, to consider the minimal structure. The minimal structure are those for which there is only two sub of algebra, the top one and the, the, the base field. This is what we call uh, minimal uh, of Galois structure, and we have this uh, this result. So, uh, as usual, we have uh, the, the field extension, the normal closure, the Galois group, the Galois group uh, to the, the this field, and the minimal of Galois structure. As remember that we are in the case where the of Galois structure comes from. Uh, of algebra uh, defined in the top, in the uh, from the, the the normal closure. So the n is very important. So the n gives us the, the structure, and now the minimal one will be the the, the one for which the n has no pro proper non-trivial subgroup normalized by G. And we, we take this particular case because it works. We want n to, to have no proper non-trivial. If we take H to be a characteristically simple group, it works. So this is what we, we describe here. And if we take also uh, n characteristic, but uh, we have uh, for H we replace by the other group automorphism, we have at least two minima, two minima of color structure. And here we have only one. And this only one comes from the previous result from uh, Biot. Because Biot gives us the, these properties, we know how to count, and here, if we count, we, 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 we cannot identify only one in the case. In the case, remember, in, in the case, um, not here, we, have, we, have, we, do not, we, don't, we do not have the case. I will show you the. Well, yes. In this case, yes, but continue his work by saying that when n is a Bernstein number, which means that n is prime with uh, phi, and phi here is uh, the Euler phi uh, function, this means that this work for n prime, we have only uh, we have only one, and this only one is um, is minimal, in fact, because the, the, the degree is prime. And here we have an example to, 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 show, to show that for, from the, the claim for group. The, we know this uh, is automorphism group. And uh, we, we, we see that we can write uh, and we can write the Gala group as uh, this uh, semi direct product. And the condition as uh, are OK uh, as uh, what we, we just described for the, the, to get a minimal of Galois structure. And uh, um, a basic thing, a basic thing, we know that uh, for Galois, Galois extension, every separable Galois extension with degree 2 e, uh, every separable extension of degree 2 is Galois, but this is true for uh, the degree until 4 in case of, of Galois. Every field extension of degree, uh, separable field extension of degree at most four is of Galois, because we have the case where where n is prime, and you have the, the other case. But uh, in the other case, the, the, the normal closure has a Galois group, which can be written as a semi-direct product. So we can conclude. But it is that that is not true for uh, for five. We have some. Uh, degree 5 extension, which are not uh, of Galois. What is 
the separable field extension of degree less or equal than 4 is Galois. Sorry? Sorry? What is it? Is it true this one? What do you it's say? It's like a separable field extension of degree less than 4. We? Oui? I think we can't find like. Uh, well, it's hot to Galois. Ah, it's hot to Galois. Yeah, sorry. So I mean, I misunderstand like the. Okay, okay. Now I switch to the second part of the talk, and uh, I want to talk about normal basis. And uh, what is a normal basis? Uh, it is a basis uh, generated by an element. We have, sorry, we have uh, a field extension, a Galois field extension, which is Galois here, Galois field extension. And what we call a normal basis is a normal of a basis of L over K. Uh, which is generated by an element of L and the action of the Galois group. That is what we call a normal basis. This means that, in fact, our L is a module of rank 1 over the, 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 op, uh, the, 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 group, the group algebra. Sorry. And we know that we have this theorem, which is, uh, here you have the story of the theorem. This theorem which says that we, this, such an element always exists. It was conjectured by Eisenstein, proved by Hensel, and uh, this is for the story, the story of the, of the theorem. And it's also true for infinite uh, extension. Now, uh, some construction. Uh, I decided to to show you some construction, but uh, it, th these construction are not uh, mine. So, but just to know that uh, people are working on this. So we have uh, an extension of local field, which is separable and totally unified. This is uh, different. Uh, this is a fractional idea of the linear integer of the um, uh, this the, the top field, and. Uh, I do not see, yes, I put the name. Bayot and Elder construct, uh, in fact, uh, give, they give um, a characterization of element who can generalize a normal basis by using the, the group of ramification and the, yes, the group of ramification. And the number, the number, the law, B max here is a law ramification uh, number. But there are also, from the group of ramification, we have the lower ramification number and the upper ramification number. And uh, this is uh, how we characterize the, the, the element who can generalize, who can generate a normal basis. Also, um, yes, here, now we, we, we have the case where uh, the extension, our extension for the departure is uh, of Galois. Uh, the structure is given, is given by an H, and uh, in fact, this uh, in fact L is a module of rank one over H. So we can we have also uh, the, um, a normal basis in this case. And uh, here it is by up describe uh, how uh, uh, characterize the element the element who can generalize normal basis using the valuation of the of the different. And now we have uh, the case of normal integral basis. In fact, we have again a, an extension of local field. Sorry, what, what, is the, what is the definition of normal in the non Galois setting? In the non. Yeah. Here? Here? Yeah, for example. Yes, this means that in fact we, we found an element in L mm -hmm. such that the action of H in this element will, will give us a, ba a basis. That's the definition of normal. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here we have, uh, in fact, uh, we, uh, greater <coughs> in 2022 describe or characterize how we can construct a normal a normal basis of a normal integral basis. This means the the normal basis of a fractional idea, because the difference is a fractional, it is invertible, and uh, this uh, it, it describes how to, to, to compute how 
he explicitly, explicitly constructs normal basis of this uh, fractional idea. Now, our construction. Uh, in fact, what we do here is to consider uh, uh, one dimensional algebraic group one dimensional algebraic group uh, over a, per a perfect field with positive uh, characteristic. We have T uh, um, a rational point on the, 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 the algebraic group of order N. We have the, the quotient isogeny. If the, the fiber above this A is irreducible, then the field obtained from K by adjoining the, the fiber is a cyclic extension of degree, of degree n, and this uh, fiber above A is uh, a divisor which is invariant by translation. In fact, uh, this translation is uh, the action of a Galois group of an element on an element in, in this uh, fiber. And in fact, since we have uh, a group here, which is uh, an algebraic group, which is a, a variety, we have some equation. So using the equation of the variety, we can construct um, we can construct a function which will generate this linear space, meaning the, the function which dominate minus minus d, with work divisor d dominate minus d, and this uh, this space is uh, an n-dimensional vector space, and if the the fiber above a does not meet the n torsion, then the evaluation of this basis at a b, uh, any b in uh, any b in the in the fiber, we give us a normal basis of n over k. So I want uh, to show you some uh, the argument of the proof. So uh, this the extension is Galois because we assume that the fiber above a is uh, is reducible, which means that the Galois group stabilizes this. This means that this uh, extension is, is Galois, then remember that our field is perfect, which means that any extension is separable, so it is Galois. It is normal because the, the, this fiber is assumed to be reducible, and it is uh, normal because uh, the base field is, uh, separable, is, uh, is a perfect field. Now, uh, we Using this, uh, uh, this thing, we, we here we want we, we prove that the Galois group is uh, abelian because the Galois group uh, is defined by adjoining an element which uh, which is in the n torsion, and when we do it for uh, each element, we, we 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 can switch by composition. We have that it is Galois, and we we show also that uh, the exponent the exponent sorry divide n. But in fact, what we do here is a kind of Kummer theory for for um, for algebraic curve for 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 um, one-dimensional algebraic group. We are doing Kummer theory. That's what we do. So uh, what we have here, we have a pairing uh, pairing from this product to this. But this pairing is non-degenerate. That means that we have uh, we have this isomorphism here. But this uh, this group is a cycle group of order of order n, which gives us that this Galois group is uh, of order n. We if our order n and cycle because here it is cycle. Now uh, we 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 take a, a one-dimensional algebraic group. Why? Because we know the classification. We know that over. Um, a perfect field, we have only three for a fine algebraic group, the additive, the multiplicative, and the Lucas Tori. And in, project in projective, we have just elliptic curves. So we do the work for all of this. That's uh, the result I, I, uh, I show you. What do we do? We know the, the we know uh, the fiber above A, it is this divisor. It is invariant over this because uh, the point of uh, the support of the divisor is, is still stabilized by this map. And uh, using the equation, as I said before, we can construct the function. But why, uh, what is the way? 
For example, if I assume that the, the, the group, the, the algebraic group is an elliptic curve, we have this equation. From the equation, we have this function which is normal, natural, uh, small x and small y, we have the divisor, which, which shows us that we have uh, this function will have uh, a pole at uh, the unit element, but uh, we have also that uh, x is, uh, is um, a pair function, but y is not. So we, we know that, uh, we see that the, the, we have the, the function as divisor, I do put it here, uh, the divisor of, the, of, the, of this function is, the polar divisor is the unique element minus t. And if we, 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 we consider the action of the, the Galois group or the action of the, this, uh, this uh, translation, we will have a, a system of n functions. In fact, this n function uh, are linearly independent because if we assume that we have, uh, as usual, we have, we have this uh, zero linear combination. This means that the function, this function here, we know its divisor, but it is a divisor of a function on an elliptic curve, which means that the sum of the, the point in the support which, uh, which gives us uh, zero, but if we sum, we have that nb, it is the, the unit point, which means that b is in the n torsion. <coughs> Remember that uh, here, we assume that the, uh, the, what is it? The, the fiber does not meet the entorsion. So this gives us the, the fact that it is a basis. And uh, uh, sorry. Yes. And uh, it, it is okay. We, we, we show, we have shown that uh, it is a normal basis. So, uh, now, now I want to, to, to show you the properties coming from uh, normal basis to do finite field arithmetic. Uh, but why are normal basis useful? Because if you have uh, an arbitrary basis and we want to do the, the arithmetic here, we have to consider addition and multiplication. Addition is easy because it is component wise, but multiplication Multiplication is more, can be more difficult, but in fact, what is difficult here, it is that we have to consider the product of the element in the basis. We have to consider this. And to do that, we have to uh, introduce some scalar, some uh, scalar, and see that we have some uh, bilinear form, CK, who help us to compute the product. Compute the product means that we we compute the coordinate of this product in the base from the coordinate of the two components. But uh, the, the fact is that when the base is a normal basis, in fact, all this bilinear form comes only from one, which is C0, and this, uh, th that is why it is important to, to use normal basis to do arithmetic in a, a finite field extension. So now I want to, 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 to share with you some uh, things about uh, multiplication in finite field extension. Uh, first, I consider the general setting, which is I have a field, I have a two vector space, final, final dimensional vector space, and I have a k bilinear map here. And what I want to do is to compute the product. At the end, it will be the product, but here I start from general setting just a bilinear map. And from this bilinear map, I have what I call a pure bilinear map. It is a map in this way, in this way to U at U, for which we can compute the image of V1, V2 by using some uh, linear form in this way. And when the phi1 and phi2 are the same, I say it is a pure symmetric K bilinear map. Uh, the k bilinear map, the, the space of k bilinear at this dimension, which means that uh, I do not define, yes, I define here, the algebraic complexity. Uh, in fact, I want to compute this, but to compute this, I want to use a pure bilinear map. 
And what I call the complexity is the, the, the expression of the composition of this map into a sum of this map. If I have this decomposition, then uh, it, it will be easy for me to compute. So it's very important to know how to, uh, to express. And I call the complexity of this map uh, the smallest integer such that uh, this map is uh, RPT a time. Uh, it can be, write, can be written sorry, as a sum of RKT uh, pure map. Now, the symmetry. Uh, what I did for the, the, the general bilinear map, I can do the same for the symmetry. But for the symmetry, we have a, an interpretation. So uh, the algebraic uh, complex, symmetry complexity, it is a decomposition. But if we have this, this decomposition, this is equivalent to have two map, a dash, down, dash up, a dash down, who will go from the vector space to this power of the base field, and the power to the base field to this such that to compute the product, we just need to apply this to map. And here we have some bound coming from what we know concerning pure bilinear map and uh, algebraic bilinear map. Now, uh, remember that we, have, uh, we are interested in multiplication in finite field extension. We know that every finite field extension is a Galois extension, and the Galois group generated by the Frobenius automorphism. So, what we are, going, we are doing now is to consider uh, a group. We have the, the, the group algebra, and uh, we, we have inside the, the convolution product who can who allow us to, the, to define the, the component one's product. And we have here, when he, this will be the, the complexity. Remember, complexity is the, 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 the number of pure map in the decomposition. And uh, the diamond sigma is uh, this map here, uh, component-wise, for each part two vectors. And we see that uh, a, a bilinear map T, where V is um, a KC, a KC module, T will be say, uh, is said to be C equivalence if we have this relation here. It means that uh, multiplies the same element of the, of the group by the first component and the second can uh, we, uh, give us this relation. And now equivalent complexity, we define what is pure equivalent, pure C equivalent K bilinear map. It is a bilinear map given by the, the, remember that V is a KC module, so it is also a K vector space, but what we call a pure C equivalent is the case when we have W a vector in W, and we have phi 1 and phi 2 which are linear form but as uh, KC linear map. We have pure symmetry also, and uh, if we have here the equivalent complexity as in the same way as before. We are, it is a decomposition. The number of elements is a decomposition. We have also the symmetric equivalent complexity. It is the number of elements in the decomposition, pure uh, equivalent k linear map. And uh, for the case where L is, um, uh, we have, uh, for the case when we have um, a finite extension, uh, we, we denote by this the, the, the linear C equivalent complexity. It is the mu, uh, new Q sim of n. The degree n is the degree. Now, we have, uh, we have some bound. Uh, in fact, we have our group C, we have K, and we take L and M two finitely generated KC module, such that n is 3. Since n is 3, we can write m as this uh, direct sum with this, ve ve uh, this vector space, w. And we have a, a Kc form, Kc linear, linear form, phi, is defined by a family of k form. Why? Because when we apply phi to m, we have to, 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 to get this. And in this way, we have also that for this family, 
In fact, all this family is described by just one element. I remember that E is in the unit element in the group. In, in this way, we have an isomorphism of vector space between the, the space of KC form and the space of K, K, K form. This means that every KC form is described only by one K form. Now, for the C equivalent bilinear map, we have this map here. It is given by a family of map here, but as before, we can uh, generate all this by one, and in fact, we have an isomorphism between the C equivalent bilinear map and the, the, ba the bilinear map here. And the result is that since this is an isomorphism, and we have, this means that to get the complexity of this, of the map T here, in fact, this complexity comes from this, or is bounded by the complexity of this. This is very important for the following. Uh, I remember, I recall that uh, a C equivalent K bilinear map here, its complexity is bounded by the one coming from the, the, the K bilinear map associated to And uh, here, I, I just to convince you that, in fact, uh, symmetric equivalent complexity controls the multiplication. Uh, if I have, if I know the symmetric complexity, and I know um, a, a, a basis of of L over 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 K, which means a normal basis. In fact, I can compute. Remember that the complexity, given the comp give the complexity, is means that we have dash down and dash this to map dash down and dash up who help us to compute the product. And since we have the base of the, the, the departure space and the arrival space, we can use matrix and we can compute the, the product. Now, uh, a result we just uh, published is the following. We have K a finite field, we have N prime to the characteristic, we have this uh, Galois cover unified between a uh, curve, absolute integral over the, the, the field K. We assume that the Galois group C of is cyclic, the Galois group is cyclic of order N. We have, uh, you can, you can, um, Remind what we, we did before. We have a point here, a rational point, so that the fiber is reducible. And if you have R, an effective divisor on the... R is an effective divisor, it is on X. Yes. R is an effective divisor, sorry. No, R is an effective divisor on, uh, on Y, such that uh, R and the action of the, Gal of the Galois group on R are different for every element in uh, the Galois group except the unit. And we have D a divisor on the, 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 the curve X. We, we write R, capital R for this, this sum. It, it, it is uh, the divisor generated by, from R by the action of the Galois group. And this is the, 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 the the inverse image of the divisor D. If we assume that we have this condition and this condition here, then the, the, the complexity of multiplication in, our, in uh, the, the degree, because you know that we have the degree and extension of K, we have all the condition to get this extension, and the, the, multiplication, the complexity of this extent, uh, multiplication in this extension is less than or equal to sigma, where sigma is the multiplication is this small, uh, small, uh, small uh, ring. So uh, some uh, idea for the proof. So uh, we have, remember, we are working with curve. With curve, we have uh, the Riemann Rohr divisor, and in fact. From the definition of the, the, the Riemann Rohr divisor, we, we can see that this, part, this map is well defined because this function is divisor uh, dominate minus, minus E. But what is E? 
E is a divisor, and here is a local equation of the divisor. So this map is well defined. Here also it is well defined for the same reason. Here we are we put two because we have e to, to e squared. And this map E B, the first one, is subjective. Why is it subjective? Because it's uh, the the dimension of its image is, is, is equal to the dimension of L. And this comes from the the, 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 uh, the the requirement, the hypothesis. We assume that the degree of D is greater than this. And uh, using um, riemann piervitz uh, theorem, uh, this means that we have this. But since we, if we have this, using a riemann roth theorem, this will give us uh, what we want. This, which, is, which says that the, 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 the degree, the dimension, sorry, of the kernel is equal to this. Now we can evaluate. We can evaluate at R also. And we have these two maps which are well defined. And this map here is injective for the same reason. We assume in the theorem that we have this condition, but this condition means that we have this. Uh, this is simply interpretation of the definition of R, D, capital R and E. But when you have a degree less than zero, which means that the, the linear space associated is trivial, it is just zero, but this is the the, the kernel of this uh, of this map. Since the kernel of zero, it means that it is objective. And now, what what do we do? What we want to do is to compute the um, is to compute this product. We have the first fact is that uh, since uh, the um, the, the order of C is prime to the, the characteristic of the field. This uh, the group the group algebra is a semi-simple ring. This means that any submodule is a direct factor. This means that in fact here the, the, the kernel of E B is a direct factor here. And remember that we, we, we saw that E B is uh, subjective, which means that we have in fact a uh, right inverse. Using um, the same kind of uh, argument, we have that uh, E R square has also a left inverse, and when we have these two inverses, we can compute what we want. Remember that we have sigma, the complexity of multiplication here. We have two elements, we have to compute the product. What do we do? We apply, since we can go from here to this, we apply E B star times EB, we, we are here. Then we apply E square, we come to this. And that ER square is uh, as an inverse, and we come back here, and we apply EB square, we go here. So, in fact, we do nothing. But doing this, we come to this, uh, this, uh, uh, this ring here. And in this ring, remember that we have this, this fact. Yes, that if I have a, a, a module, a KC module, which, which is a, a direct sum in this way, in fact, the, the complexity of multiplication in, uh, in L will, will be uh, given by the multiplication, the complexity of multiplication in, uh, in W. And this is what we do. Because what we have is that... Um, we have that R is this sum, which means that KR here is a direct sum of, the, of this, of small KR. And this means that, in fact, multiplication in yes, yes, means that multiplication in uh, here has a um, a vector space. Oh, sorry. So what we have? Yeah, yes. This is it. Okay. So multiplication according to this comes from multiplication according to this. But uh, when uh, multiplication here bound multiplication here, because we have this sum, and it is the same thing we have here. 
because capital R is capital R is a, 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 a is obtained by the action of a Galois group of small r. This means that the 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 algebra the group algebra here capital uh, the group algebra k of small r uh, gives us in fact capital R is a direct sum of uh, the, the 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 group algebra denoted by small small r. And uh, when we, we have this in mind, we are, we are done, because uh, when we come here, we want to do the multiplication, but here we have the two elements here in, uh, this, uh, in this ring, and do multiplication in this ring, the complexity is bounded by multiplication is k of small r, we can do it using our hypothesis, which is we know, the, uh, we know this, this sigma, and we are done, and we come back, what we do is to come back here and then apply EB. This means that, in fact, when we have, uh, when we have two elements, we apply these two, and then we apply this. We apply this map here, the dash up and dash down, and then we come back to L to, get the, the, to complete the product. But, in fact, we can see that we have two map, two linear map, one to L to Kc to the sigma and another another map we come who go from Kc to the sigma to L and these are linear map and these two linear map help us to compute the product. This means that in fact the complexity of multiplication in L is less than this sigma. So uh, it's okay for me. Questions, please. Maybe just a curiosity question. Like, uh, if we take like um, fi a field extension of finite fields, let's say FQN over FQ, so we have cyclic group. Mm -hmm. So the the, the Galois group is cyclic. So in this case, is it uh, how many half Galois, half Galois uh, uh, algebras we can have in this case? Is it like uh, there is ah. formula for that? Or? Yes. Uh, in fact, you have to count. Uh, what you, you are saying is that um, it depends. If the what I show here is that if the degree is prime, we have only one. But see if the degree is prime. But if the degree is not prime, it can be Galois that have many of Galois structure. So for every sub extension. <coughs> Sorry? For every sub-extension, there is, some, uh, there is uh, one... Uh, uh, because it's cyclic group. So. It is a, a, a cyclic group. That's why I say when, when uh, the, the degree is, is prime, this means that we have a simple group. So no, no sub... No, can I say? Normal sub no normal, normal subgroup, which means that no normal sub... No sub... No Galois sub-extension. And yeah. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, I mean, you know, there is an analog of uh, finite fields in, in, in the global world, and you know, that's cyclotomic fields. Mm -hmm. Do I understand how to uh, do similar things, you know, multiplications, lessons in cyclotomic fields efficiently? Because we know how to do them in finite fields. The question is from the. Uh, is, is there a passage from finite fields to cyclotomic fields? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I understand ah. how how things how I mean are there similar questions and, and answers for cyclotomic fields? Uh, in fact, I I do not see the work on this in this way, but. You are talking about um, arithmetic in uh, cyclotomic. I cannot uh, answer to this question. Thank you. Okay, there are no more questions. Let's thank the speaker again.